In what ways does your media product use, develop or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? One convention we used was low-key lighting. We used a lot of darker tones for our film trailer purely because we wanted to give an effect to make the trailer look more dramatic and deep. We wanted the low-key lighting to make our trailer follow up to the negative storyline. The trailer which inspired us to use low-key lighting was Black Swan and Women in Black purely because they both have a negative storyline and when we watch it the trailer gives us a thrill throughout the whole trailer and keeps us on our feet because we know it's going to be a scary film due to the low-key lighting. We compare this to high-key lighting within our film trailer. We did this to contrast both high and low-key. By doing this, it enabled us to create a more suspense atmosphere and allow the audience to gain a more dramatic effect from each downfall within. Two other conventions we used were dramatic cam camera angles and edits. Throughout the trailer, we primarily used close-ups and ex extreme close-ups to put emphasis on the emotions that the main character was feeling, and this generally being fear. We also used a few long establishing shots to not only introduce the locations, but also to create an eerie atmosphere around certain settings that would hopefully be felt when the location appeared later in the trailer. With regards to editing, we used a lot of quick edits which were really impactful on the audience. Specifically, there was one scene where Claire's dark double slowly crept towards the camera. This scene was, uh, was inspired from the horror film it, it, where a similar scene had been used. Another convention we used was sound. We used a naturalistic sound for our trailer. For example, we had cars driving in the background which can be heard in a few shots of the trailer. We also used sounds of the birds, wind, the trees to again give off the effect to make it seem more realistic. We've done this because we wanted to make the audience feel like they can relate more to Claire and make them think about how they would feel in her situation. We also used sound effects in the trailer to make it more realistic without actually having the sounds being used in the real life. We used a phone slam in which shows that the person Claire was on the phone to hung up and we also used the sound of the phone ringing. This was all used to make the trailer look real. We wanted to make, oh, we wanted to use all the pure sounds in our trailer to make it more relatable to our target audience so they can feel attached to Claire throughout the whole trailer. Alongside this, we carried out non-diegetic and diegetic sound. This meaning non-diegetic where you can only hear the sound being played. Oh, come on. Sorry, just working out the kinks, you know, smooth car. Oh. In this instance, we used a soundtrack, giving us that sense of suspense. We did this to get the audience to feel more engaged and create more of a thrill. Besides this, we carried out diegetic sounds, this being voiceovers to create normality. Also, we used voiceovers to our advantage by saying the word Claire and edi editing it to make it sound more intimidating. Claire. We allowed the audience to feel more fe fearful. Also, it brought to the surface how Claire must have felt by making us gain the experience of feeling it too. This links onto another psychological thriller of the conjuring, which we took the idea from. This is also where you hear voiceovers to create the same effect. In our trailer we used a variety of locations, the first of which was the hospital that appeared at the very beginning of the trailer. We decided to use this as a location to not only make the location recognisable for the audience but also to put an eerie feel on the scenes. Another location we used was uh, the house and the bedroom. In this location was also very dark and we feel this added tension to the shots. The final main location we used was the forest. In this scene, only the main character and her dog can be seen, showing how lonely the character is and how isolated she is in the derelict forest. 